The next stage, I've, after I've finished this dimension, it will be to conclude and finish this process. Clicking on the Finish button over here, it will open some screens with options. First of all, I can now also send the part request for the trading system of the Auto3P. If I would like to send request for parts information, I can just choose this option over here, click Next, select the parts that I would like to send to the trading system to have some information of prices, and this will send now the details of this vehicle with this VIN number to these suppliers A, B and aftermarket also. This is our predefined suppliers that we have a collaboration within the trading system. I can put my remarks and I click finish. This will send now to these three suppliers the parts from this estimation. Now a new window screen or new tab will open here which is the trade tab and I can see immediately if there is automatic response from the suppliers the exact information for each and one of these parts. I can see the parts that I selected, my type and price that comes from the catalog, the quoted price which come from the trading system, the discount prices which is after the discount and a retail price if it's different that comes from uh, the supply. Of course here we can see that we have not only original but also aftermarket. So we have a lot of options to choose uh, the parts into our estimate. If I would like to go now and to order the parts I can just click on this button in this screen, the order, and I can order the lowest price or some other price by a system of baskets. This will open this screen where we have uh, grouped baskets of parts which will um, take over all the damage. For example, supplier A it's uh, original prices with this basket for all the parts in the accident, in the damage, will bring us this uh, information, these parts. Otherwise, we have some mixed suppliers, which is not one supplier, that can give us a different price for all the parts. Or we have options to make our own selection, the user selection and to choose from whom we would like to select the parts. In this case, let's take the lowest price. We go next. These are the parts that are coming from uh, several suppliers, in this case from the aftermarket and one of them from the original. And if we go next, it will order the part from these two suppliers. Five parts from these supplier and another part from this supplier. We can put some order code, order, and some remarks and we can finish and send the order immediately from the repair process to the trading system, to the suppliers. After that stage we have sent the order we will be asked now if we would like also to update the estimate with this relevant uh, parts that we have ordered. If I click yes, a new screen will be open and in this case I will update my estimate with the new information that comes from this order. I can make some rate on this 
and update the estimate with some rate inside if I want for example so 5% more and it will change the price if I would like to leave it like this I leave with the rate of 1 finish this will now update my estimate with the parts I've ordered from the trading system.